Well, Florida Senate President Kathleen Pasadomo is being attacked by far-right members of her own political party. According to Florida Politics, the Lake County Republican Party has passed a resolution censuring the Senate president. The Lake County GOP chair, current congressional candidate, and former state representative Anthony Sabatini attacked Pasadomo as a spineless rhino. And later, the Republican Liberty Caucus of Florida inducted Pasadomo into its Oath Breakers Hall of Shame. Pasadomo's crime, apparently, not doing enough to pass the party's agenda. Earlier this month, the Florida GOP issued a list of its top 10 priorities in the current legislative session. After the list was made public, Pasadomo told reporters that that list would not guide the legislative process. And at this point, the top seven bills on the Republican list appear dead in the Senate, including bills imposing term limits for county commissioners, barring nonprofits from gender sensitivity training, banning pride flags on public property, protecting Confederate monuments, making gold and silver legal tender, reducing the buying age for all guns to 18, and prohibiting gender changes on driver's licenses. So, Kimberly, you are you were the reporter here in Florida that broke this story initially in the middle of the month. I, I'm wondering, Pasadomo is a conservative, and she says, look, she supports Speaker Renner, she supports the governor. Why is she being attacked? Well, and it's very interesting because if you look at her record, she really has a conservative record, right? I mean, they passed universal school vouchers, they passed a six week abortion ban under her leadership, and they've done a lot to really give to the conservative movement. This time around, um, her priorities are really, you know, I think they feel like they, they got a lot of what they wanted. Her priorities have really been on healthcare reform in the state. And one of the things that she kept on pointing out, because she has been asked about the list repeatedly, is she's saying, look, we're in charge here. We're the ones who passed the laws. And it's fine if the Republican Party of Florida wants to put their agenda out there. But, you know, this is what we're doing. I will say that if you look at some of the bills being passed in the House, they're more in line with what the Republican Party of Florida put out. Um, some of them are going through uh, the legislature today, Friday. And um, but it, the tension that has existed there, she's she's kind of blowing it off. And she's saying, you know, that, uh, I'm the boss, this is what we're doing. And some of the bills that were listed actually have not even been introduced in the Senate. So she kind of has that way to say, well, there's no process to even take the bill up. Um, so there's no reason to do it. April, would you, sh would you agree that a lot of the issues, and, and you were there when this, right. this list was compiled, but a lot of these are cultural issues or so-called culture war issues. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, insurance is not on there or housing affordability or transportation, none of that stuff is on. So is, is, is Pasadomo kind of a block f for the party from going too far to the right? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think that what um, has happened here is that historically we've always seen that the Senate um, body itself acts a little bit more moderately than the House, and that's just reality. That's what's happened. Um, but this came out of the RPO af after the annual meeting. It had come through the Legislative Committee and was presented at the annual meeting on the 8th. It was adopted. A lot of the, the topics and the bills that were listed on that legislative agenda that we adopted were already progressing or not progressing through the House. So some of that is just a matter of timing and consequences. Um, I think that it's unfortunate that these and we're seeing a whole lot of it in the Republican Party is the the county executive committees adopting these resolutions, making demands and um, criticizing elected officials for things that they've done or not done. And it's just proliferating. At, uh, they don't accomplish a lot. Um, and this Sabatini is one of the leaders in that in that process of the resolution process. And I mean, you know, he's a former state rep. He's running the second time for Congress. And so Part of it is he's getting his name out there and doing this, but he's been a leader in, the, in this trend for more and more resolutions to either reprimand or um, call on our elected officials to do more and more things. But the name calling, you know, name calling is the lowest form of debate. So that is totally unnecessary and it's unfortunate that it's happening in the Republican Party. Howard, uh, a lot of these issues I think uh, uh, are, are cultural issues. What do you make of, of Pasadomo standing in the way of them being passed? Well, uh, I'm here on behalf of the nonpartisan ACLU. 
We're a nonpartisan Bill of Rights defense organization. This is a family squabble within the Republican Party. They got to decide whether or not they're a Sabatini party and they're all in on culture war, or they're a, a Pasadomo party that is trying to come up with, I think, on her. I mean, she's a, a conservative. I disagree with her on many things, but at least she has put forth Republican efforts to, to solve issues of health care crisis that we have in the state, overdevelopment, housing crisis. She's there are Republican solutions to serious uh, problems that we have in the state of Florida. But the Sabatini agenda, which I guess now, now is the state Republican Party agenda, of things like protecting Confederate monuments, banning pride flags, creating a new crime of driving while transgender. I mean, that this is, uh, if that's what the Republican Party wants to go towards, uh, it'll probably never never uh, win a popular vote in this country. April, in 10 seconds, I want to ask you, is, the pas is there a Pasadoma wing? Is it on the rise? Is there a Sabatini wing? And is it on the rise? I would say no. No to both. Right. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks for wrapping it up so quickly. <laughs>